व्यास भरोसे कुमार के सोमत पाम पसार श्री प्रतिदाज कुमार बरगाई आनंद की दिल बरगाई family comes from the tradition of Gopal Bhatt Goswami mm -hmm. who was disciple of Sri Chaitanya oh. and who manifested and established the temple of Radharaman. So, my father, Sri Purushottam Goswamiji, who was the chief priest of Radharaman temple, and he himself was a good singer and a performer. He was very much in music because his father, my grandfather, used to sing very well. So, there was a musical training he had received but he liked the performances and dramatized things. So, along with Baba Premanam, my father 
started this new genre of performances called Gaur Leela or Chaitanya Leela, which is structured after the format of the traditional Ras Leela, divided in two parts, the Nitya Ras and the Leela part. So in the Nitya Ras, it is the Sankirtan of Chaitanya, and in the Leela part, one episode from the life of Chaitanya is depicted. Mm -hmm. And they use the same format. There'll be a Swami, there'll be a musician, drum player, flute player, cymbal player, etc., etc., as they have in Ras Leela. And uh, the same kind of stage arrangements and same language, Braj Bhasha, will be used. Mm -hmm. So early 50s, 1950s, it was started and uh, troops like uh, Chauthi Ramji and uh, then my father especially trained Hari Gobind and uh, uh, Kumar Pal Swami's Mandalis <coughs> and also Sri Ram Sharma's Mandali, Fateh Krishna's Mandali. So all these Mandalis were trained by my father and they had performed in Jaisingera mm -hmm. many, many years. Mm -hmm. So that Chaitanya Leela is a unique contribution of uh, these people. Mm -hmm. uh, and apart from that, my father also uh, made a big contribution in making Ashtayam Leelas. Ashtayam Leela is a dramatization of one day life of Radha and Krishna. Mm -hmm. divided in eight parts. So the 24 hours divided into eight parts is called Ashtayama, eight periods of time. And it's a very elaborate presentation. Need a lot of equipment and a lot of expenditure and musical and dress and decoration and many other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is a very, very unusual uh, presentation. So it's also invention, recent invention. Uh, but, my father did your that. Father, your the father. first one was in 1974. Oh. Mm. 1974, mm -hmm. he did it with uh, Swami Ramsu. Mm -hmm. Again, he repeated that in 75 or 76. And then later on in 80s, he repeated in 80s and 90s and 20s. Uh, with uh, Swami Fateh Krishna mm -hmm. and Swami Sri Ram. Mm -hmm. So they performed this Ashtayam Leelas mm -hmm. and very, very popular and very successful. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's come some time to time, sometimes it's Yeah, very, very, sometime after five years, sometime after ten years, mm -hmm. because a lot of millions of rupees are required for that, mm -hmm. very costly production. Uh, how long it goes? So it's... Uh, Eight days. Eight days. Uh, every day, mm -hmm. uh, the first day it will be start at 3.27 a.m. Second day, 6 a.m. Next day, 8.24 a.m. Then 10.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then... Two hours every uh, day? Two uh, roughly three hours. Roughly, roughly, roughly three, three hours, hours every day. It goes for three hours. Mm -hmm. So like that. And the last one will be performed at 9.30 p.m. and will go up to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. So like this, it is progressing every day, progressing in time mm -hmm. and different timetable. So but the first one starts from 1, p 1 a.m.? The last one. The last one. The last one concludes Why? around 1 a.m. Concludes. Uh -huh. concludes. But the first started... At 3.27 a.m. 3.27? Mukhur Brahma Mukhur? Brahma Mukhur. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So different ras, different feelings. So first is called Nishant Leela, then second one is called Pratah Leela, then Purvan Leela, Madhyan Leela, Aparan Leela, Sayam Leela, Pradosh Leela, and Shayan Leela. So these are the eight Leelas. Mm -hmm. And the framework of that is given by Rupa Goswami in Smarana Mangala Stotra, and then elaborated by Krishnadas Kaviraj in his book called Govind Leela Mritam. Mm -hmm. 
which is like a diary of Krishna's and Radha's life of one day. Mm -hmm. It's a very elaborate text. Mm -hmm. So it is performed like that. Is it the fourth in your uh, ashram? Ah, ash here, here only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not outside, not in the bank of the river or whatever. No, in the ashram only. It's required space, some space. Mm. Uh -huh. And uh, that, then the question is about the uh, Ras Lila troops. So these boys, how they are being trained? These boys actually usually uh, the Swami of the Mandali he brings his relative boys into the Mandali and then you know they also employ, hire other young boys and musicians also are hired mm -hmm. and they are all paid. So, and usually they come from Brahmin family, except the drum player mm -hmm. is not necessarily a Brahmin. Mm -hmm. The Pakhavji can be of different caste as well. How have they been trained? Is it uh, they are trained, you know, because they are enrolled and when they come very young, they become like a small Saki, then they learn another, they, they learn, they learn by performing. Mm -hmm. So the training and performance goes side by side, side by side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they perform till what age? Perhaps Usually they should perform by 14, 15. But sometimes they cross the age also. The main swarup should not be of pubic age. That is the tradition. But uh, in this case, we have these boys who are around 25 mm. or sometimes. Not 25. No. They are all below 20. Below 20. They are below 20. But they should not be. It is not ideal. Uh -huh. But when you don't find, then you continue with the older. But the idea of pre-puberty is a purity? Purity. Idea of purity. purity. Sexual purity. Sexual purity. Yeah. So they must be. Like miracle plays of the West. <laughs> then another question of um, miracles. So what is the idea of miracle in your life or in your experience? What this kind place of... had a miracle in 1992, in the month of November. Mm -hmm. There was a performance going on, Ashtayam Leela performance. Mm -hmm. And this place is historically known as the place where Uddhava came to meet the gopis in Krishna's time. Mm -hmm. And in that meeting place, Krishna came disguised as a bumblebee, Brahmara. And whatever the discussion between gopis and Uddhava is known as Brahmara Gita. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor N. Sasanova Mm -hmm. from the Oriental Institute yes. has translated Brahmar Geet into Russian. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Has translated that into mm -hmm. Russian. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So that Brahmar Geet thing was going on and there was a congregation my father was addressing. Mm -hmm. Then at night a Brahmar came and that went. So two days later there was some special puja for Brahmar. And at that moment, Krishna appeared as Brahma in front of hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. It is also video. There is a video available of that. Mm -hmm. So, at that time, the Brahma appeared and received all the puja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge miracle. Mm -hmm. Huge miracle. And that's why the temple is coming up under construction for that bee on the riverside. And people, how people recognize this, uh, so what was the appreciation, so how, how people understood it? Because uh, it is in Bhagavad Puran that Krishna appeared as, as, as Brahmara, mm -hmm. and again it happened when it was happening. Mm -hmm. So no proof was needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People just recollected. Recollected. Just understood. And all the religious personalities mm -hmm. uh, acknowledge it mm -hmm. as a miracle. Mm -hmm. Chamatkar. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So all the Leela, mm -hmm. Leelas of the Lord are all Chamatkar. Mm -hmm. 
like Moses going through the ocean and the ocean giving way to Moses. Chamatka. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So every religion has Chamatka. Here it is Narayan Bhatt in the 16th century, Narayan Bhatt. Mm -hmm. okay. Even today, India is a huge country. So many languages, so many religions, so many languages, everything. Yes. And it's still the country going on. Yes. It's a miracle. <laughs> Whatever. What do you feel? What kind uh, of changes? There's a lot of changes are happening mm -hmm. and they always happen. Yes. Previously, the last Leela was very governed by the Sanskrit drama. Yes. Number one. Then, in, later on, with the, the musical genre, interaction with the Mughal, Muslim music. So that came into mm -hmm. uh, Lavani and uh, all this, uh, what you call it, uh, Nautanki. Nautanki and this thing. So in <laughs> 19th century, it <laughs> affected and then uh, Parsi theatre. Parsi theatre. Parsi theater influenced a lot. So this was happening. But my father and our ashram, we tried to keep it as traditional as possible. Mm -hmm. So here you will not notice the change, hmm. except that we have a microphone or we have lights. Mm -hmm. or that's it. Some technological advancement, mm -hmm. that's all. But otherwise, the curtains, the decorations and music and language, it is all traditional. Costumes? Costumes also. Mm -hmm. Costumes also traditional. Mm -hmm. The material of the costume is also traditional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you see other mandalis, you will see the change. Mm -hmm. the, the stage will be full of glitter, mm -hmm. tinsel, yes. you know, and the language is more uh, Urdu and Khadi Boli. Mm -hmm. Then Braj Bhasha. Yeah, to keep the Yeah. Mm -hmm. The music is also very folky. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even some film music is going on. Mm -hmm. And electronic uh, music. instruments. Mm -hmm. So that kind of changes. But in Braj, uh, how many troops play in Ras Lila today, roughly? I have no idea. But, but what is the system of patronage? So if, if every, maybe Ashram, has a team. No, it is ashram. not the what ashram. Was, was, Our ashram is unusual that we are patronizing, but they are they go for performance hmm. to different cities, different villages, and through those performances they are patronized. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But in your case, you patronize them fully. So this is your troop. No, no, so, we don't. No? no, only for two part of the month. Oh. On Holi and Shaman, we patronize them mm -hmm. and we train them and we help them mm -hmm. and we also help them to get some pattern outside mm -hmm. to promote them. Sometimes. Promote them, sometimes. that's all. Mm -hmm. We don't own them. Yeah. Fateh Krishnji owns, he invests and he gets the profit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it possible to survive? By being uh, Ras Lila performers? By Difficult, but they are surviving. They are surviving. They're surviving. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular art form. Ras Lila also goes to professional theatre sometimes, somehow, no? Not much. Mm -hmm. But in Vrindavan, do you have a theatre? No theatre. Proscenium theatre. No? The nearest is in the. The government is thinking of making one. Mm -hmm. Mm. But not if you can call this as a theater, I don't know. Do you sell tickets? No. <laughs> so it's indifferent. Mm. Rasila has never performed their tickets. Never. Never? Apart from these troops, these, these troops, Rasila troops, what kind of performance you have? Not and key and uh, classical dances, a lot of classical dances, Bharatanatyam, Odyssey, Kathak. Mm -hmm. That kind of performances we have on this stage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or also, musical ballet, mm -hmm. ballet, modern performances on Krishna, etc. Oh. 
So you mean your your stage, your, your, stage. your ashram. So you, you you just ask, you invite this, this kind of dancers, musicians right. to perform. I there happen many many places. Mm -hmm. Ras Lila takes place, Ram Lila takes place, etc. No, thank you also. Notanki also. Notanki is a street theatre. Street theatre. Yeah. Street theatre. Mm -hmm. So it happens very regularly on the street. Mm -hmm. Still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different, different traditions, different, yeah. different, different le levels. Akhara. Akhara. They call it Akhara. Akhara. Yeah. No, it, it, it just happens uh, spontaneously. Ah. There is no institution. No special, no special place, no fixed place for Akhara. The perception of India is that India is not just a geography, India is not just a country, it is not just a nation, mm -hmm. it is a cultural idea. And even the present political entity called India, the country called India, depends on four names, mm -hmm. Ram, Krishna, Shiva and a local mother goddess. In the Himalayas, Parvati, Ganga, in South India, Valli, Andal, you know, Radha, Sita, Durga, Kali. So one mother goddess, local mother goddess, and Shiv, Krishna and Ram. These are the four pillars on which India is standing from time immemorial to today. If you remove these four names from the history of India, there is no India. Mm -hmm. Politically, no India. Economically, no India. Architecturally, no India. Sculptural, no India. Paintings, no India. Performances, mm -hmm. fine arts, music, Literature, philosophy, nothing mm -hmm. except for these four names. Mm -hmm. Why do you distinguish Ram and Krishna? Both are Vishnu avatar. They are avatar, but they are also more than Vishnu. Mm -hmm. Vishnu becomes secondary. Okay. Vishnu mm -hmm. becomes secondary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ram and Krishna take over. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you take these four names, Mm -hmm. Then only India is India. Mm -hmm. And British did not contribute to this. To this? No, no, no. The railways or the post system post or post political, post. that was not the unity. Mm -hmm. That unity never holds. Mm -hmm. We have seen that throughout the world. Mm -hmm. That forced political unity or administrative unity never stands. Yeah. Like USSR. Mm -hmm. Or any other place. Yeah, yeah, but India is together today because of these four names. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what about uh, Buddhism, Jainism? They are first cousins. Mm -hmm. They are first cousins. That's why Buddha is also avatar mm. of Vishnu. <laughs> but Mahavira is not. Mm? Mahavira is not. <laughs> Mahavira is not, but Mahavira tradition is also like Rishabhadeva, mm -hmm. the founder of Jain tradition, mm -hmm. is a, a god in uh, Bhagavad Puran. He is a realized soul, Rishabhadeva. Mm -hmm. So Jainism also incorporated in the Vaishnava tradition. And, then, and because of their worldview, wealth and charm, mm -hmm. they are very close to doctrine of karma, mm -hmm. rebirth, and spiritual practices. This is common to Hinduism, is Buddhism common. and Jainism. Yes, this is common. This is common. With a slight favor, you know, Russian Orthodox, Roman Catholic, Syrian Christians, mm -hmm. Protestants, Methodists. So they are different. <laughs> they are different. Different. They are different. But from the same family. Yes. But flavors are different. Flavors. Political system. The same thing. Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, mm -hmm. Sikhism in yes. the contemporary time. Now Swami Narayan. Now Iskon. Yeah. They are yes. all part of the larger Hindu family. Mm 
Mm-hmm. The Parsi, Parsi are also part Parsi of India. Parsi came from outside. Yes, but long before. <laughs> long before. So, Ahur Mazda and all those things. Data, Tata, Godrej. Huh? They are all part of the Indian system. This is the yes, yes, yes. They speak Gujarati. So their language is Gujarati. They were most welcome. And Hinduism never tried to uh, culturally kill the Parsis. Never, never, never. Never. Never, 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 never. They give the opportunity. This is true. This is true. Coexistence. Coexistence. And the same with this Islam. When Islam came, yes, yes, Hinduism yes. did not force Islam to never, change. Never. Just remain there. Yes, 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 but yes. Islam's and Christianity's approach is reverse. Yes. They had to change yes. the world into their order. Right. Mm-hmm. And that is where the conflict is coming. Yeah, this is conflict is coming. Conflict yes. is coming true, because of that. True. Yes, so the systems are different. Systems. So coexistence and imposition. These are two different things. Two different things. Yeah. You can coexist, but when you impose, then violence. Yeah. It's a problem of... Yeah. Of reality. The yes. dirty politicians try to divide. That's all. Yes. India is living peacefully for millennia. Yes. We have suffered a lot from the invasions yes. and from the swords coming into our country. Right. But despite the suffering, we have welcomed them. Right. Yes. And we are proud that in our history, we have never made crusades or jihad or anything. Mm-hmm. We have never taken sword in our hand for the sake of religion. Mm-hmm. To expand our religion, we have never invaded anybody. Never. And we are very proud of it. Yeah. Very proud of it. Mm-hmm. Yes. We have sent messengers of peace, like Ashok sent his daughter and son mm-hmm. to bring the message of peace and non-violence to the world. Mm-hmm. That is another matter. Mm-hmm. But we never sent armies mm-hmm. on the name of religion. Tell us about Radha. Uh, this is the city of Radha, the whole Vrindavan. Uh, so is it what? Because again, uh, no, not exactly contradiction, but this is one of the very interesting case of uh, Krishna stories. There is a Rukmini who is his wife supposed to be a legal wife mm. radha is illegal mm. wife lovers whatever so what is your concept of radha radha is krishna's beloved and it is the purest relationship possible between a man and a woman because there is no mention of any sexual relationship between krishna and radha mm-hmm. they are not sexually together like husband and wife. Mm-hmm. But in Gita Bhuvi, and that's why it is called Parakya. Parakya? Ha. The language is very sexual. Mm-hmm. But even in Git Govind, I don't think it is a sexual union. Mm-hmm. So you distinguish eroticism and uh, sex? Uh-huh. Ero- they're just yeah. two different things? Amorousness. Amorous. Mm-hmm. Not erotic. Erotic is a different word. Amor. A-M-O-U-R. Yes. Okay. Amor. Mm-hmm. So, can a man love a woman just for the sake of love, not even for the sake of sex? That is the highest ideal of love. Mm-hmm. That's why Radha is Parkia. Parkia means beyond any social vested interest. Yes. Between husband and wife, there's a lot of social vested interest. Yes, yes, yes. But between Radha and Krishna, there is no condition. Mm-hmm. So purest and complete mm-hmm. and total love mm-hmm. possible between man and a woman mm-hmm. is presented by the relationship of Radha and Krishna. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it is not a license for illegitimate relationship or an illegal social relationship, Mm -hmm. but relationship out of love. Mm -hmm. As Meera loved Krishna, Mm -hmm. there was nothing illegal about it. Mm -hmm. Or Akka Mahadevi loving Shiva, or Andal 
loving Ranganatha. These are examples of pure love. Mm -hmm. Or Lalde, Lalde in Kashmir, mm -hmm. loving Shiva. Pure love. Mm -hmm. It's not a relationship of sex. Mm -hmm. But because the male and female is the model, so people we immediately think of sex, mm -hmm. which we should not do with Radha and Krishna. Mm -hmm. There will be always different levels of consciousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. The sophisticated will know the truth. The masses will never know the truth mm -hmm. in any religion. Mm -hmm. so it's a question of consciousness, state of consciousness. How many Muslims know about the true message of Muhammad? Let peace be upon him. How many Christians know about the true message of Jesus? Yes. Right. You are right. <laughs> different people. Levels. Yeah, different le levels. So spiritual sophistication. Mm -hmm. yes. You need a spiritual sophistication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, so that, then my question is, your ashram and your family, uh, what kind of... Uh, task you have inside of you. So what do you so feel? So the Ras Leelas, mm -hmm. our Bhagavad Katha mm -hmm. and discourses, by that we try to spread the good message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> scriptural tradition. Mm -hmm. But do you believe in progress? Or? Progress is always happening. Mm -hmm. Always happening. Time is never static. And the ideas evolve, grow and change with time. Mm -hmm. Like my forefathers will not be speaking in English. Hmm. They might be speaking in Sanskrit, but I am speaking to you in English. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the progress is there. Change is always there. Mm -hmm. We are sitting under an electric bulb. Yes. My forefathers will be sitting yes. under a lamp. Yes. In an oil lamp. Yeah. 